Most wound healing is done, I mean, like everybody knows, like when you get a cut or something, but in the immune compromised people like our astronauts, you have to take much more extreme measures because the body just doesn't heal in the same way. So this technology uses um, electroactive polymer fibers, and that material exhibits what's called piezoelectric properties and pyroelectric properties. So at body temperature, it gives off a very, very slight charge, and that charge actually helps the cells migrate to the wound site to promote the healing process. We actually um, process the powder form into a fiber that we can make into kind of a scaffold, almost like a gauze, if you will, using an electrospinning method that we developed here at NASA. And during that process, the material actually is transformed from its original crystalline state to what we call a piezoelectric state that actually renders these properties. And it's all done during the processing method. We have done, um, we did a pilot um, in vivo study with Duke University and that showed some promising results that this was leading to an expedited wound healing nature and we just completed a very large in vivo study. We're in the process of analyzing that data but right now the results look promising. You know when we were thinking about where we could go with this technology, you know first we were thinking how this may be helpful for NASA but you know Immediately, I thought of um, the military people in the field. If they had a way to expedite that healing process simply, that would be a really huge help. And in the general public, um, diabetes is still a, a significant problem, and people with diabetes tend to have diabetic ulcers that don't heal very quickly. And if this is a treatment that would be um, effective at speeding up the healing process for their wounds and something that they could treat themselves with at home, that would be really helpful for the general public.